Yeah, 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 guys, how's it going? Uh, so I haven't been back here since last summer. I'm at the South Germantown Bike Park, uh, which is like the only decent, the closest decent pump track to where I'm staying at in Virginia. I'm, I gotta travel to another state for this apparently, uh, <laughs> but I'm stoked. It's, uh, the dirt is a little soft, but it's actually good, to, good enough to ride. It's just gonna be running a little slow, but that's okay. This bike's pretty fast in a straight line on a pump track. Just a little harder to pump corners in the drop bars, but yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Looks like they did uh, some work over there. There's a sick new wall ride. Um, some cool new wood kicker stuff. But uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have some fun today and we'll see what I'll hit and what I don't hit. You. So upon further inspection, I mean, it's actually not bad, but some parts are still a little too wet and I don't want to be doing any damage. So I'm going to do a quick track walk to see what I can and can't hit. Um, but yeah, you can see like certain bits like that. That's actually not bad, but certain bits like that I thought would be hard. That's my tire marks right there. I'm sorry, guys. There we go. Certain parts are still soft. I was hoping the sun would be like, you know, out hitting, hitting the track and drying it up, but uh, dry it enough to ride, but that's not the case. I'm just gonna have to come back uh, when I get back from California. But look, they've got one of those uh, modular synthetic pump track thingies here, which, uh, I actually rode one of these at Sea Otter uh, last year. Um, yeah, these are actually kind of fun. I just remember those switchbacks being a pretty big pull, especially once you get up to speed. And uh, pumping a berm on drop bars on a gravel bike is tricky, but we'll see. At least I'll have something to play with. Whoa! I gotta pull harder out of that berm. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a little harder to pump a berm with the drops, cause like to pull laterally or horizontally is a, a lot trickier. I mean like pulling vertically on the drops is like weird already, you know? But to pull horizontally, makes it weirder so let's take some warm-up laps see how this feels I have like my fingers on my oh shit <laughs> levers right now just in case I high side but I think I'm getting the hang of this so, wonder if I can manual these. What do you guys think? Go for it. It's pretty good. I can't, I gotta, figure out the feel if I want to manual these. They're kind of, they're spaced far apart, right? So I have to hold my shoulders and hold the rear load longer. Locals Joe and Trevor, chill dudes. Sounds like I'm making more contacts out here and eventually I have more yep. beer drinking buddies and they're gonna show me around. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck guys! Yeah. 
Yeah, I love palm tracks. <laughs> I can do this all day. This one reminds me a little bit of a barf bowl though, man. Like, because <laughs> at some point, these berms are actually supported enough, supportive enough you can pump the nuts at them and not worry about high siding. But at some point, the G's do get to you in a, it's kind of like the barf bowl in Oakland, but a lot faster. <laughs> Whew. And uh, don't forget to work in your non-dominant side too, you know. <laughs> You're not going to see manuals with me goofy though. Just not happening. No manuals when I'm riding goofy. So, this is, this is very much like the barf bowl in Oakland. Um, changing directions does not help balance things out, does it? <laughs> Non-dominant side. Practice my goofy riding. It's actually getting better as I'm riding this, like the, the, the track itself, this thing is actually drying up. I'm actually getting some decent grip now, as opposed to earlier. <laughs> so that's cool. But uh, even though the dirt track is still a little too wet in some spots, I'm having a lot of fun on this modular track. <laughs> And yeah guys, a well-designed pump track will work on any bike, any skill level. That. Click here to subscribe, click it for something else, click it for something else. I'm just gonna keep riding until it's not fun anymore. And then I'm gonna go home. That's probably going to be in a couple hours. <laughs> it's starting to sprinkle again. <laughs> definitely, definitely took that California weather for granted. But at least I got, a, I got some riding in before I got to sit in a van for three days. So.